it worked. Hey folks, this is Noble Rambler, and thankfully welcome back to RimWorld. I'm just getting over the shock of it myself. I just fired up the game and went to load, load the save game and found episode 100. And this series wasn't there, and I thought, what happened? And I realized I had clicked on the icon for Alpha 13, not Beta 18. <laughs> Boy, that was an eye-opener. But we're back, and we're staring at a suggestion that oh, kind of morphed from several of you leaving comments, but specifically, Quiet Mirth had suggested that we skip the wood version and just take our time and get the, the stone version in so that we don't have to do it twice. And along with others' comments about just set everybody to, to cut stones, and we'll just you know crank it out and get it done. So, all right, that sounds like a like a decent plan. I'm doing this a little different than we did in Alpha 13. One problem that we had in Alpha 13 with a big long two-sided thing was that we had doors every six spaces or so, and we'd poke everybody in a door, and enemies would come through here, and they'd all shoot the enemies and each other in the back of the head <laughs> so, <laughs> that was always a problem you'd always get your your best shooters at the very back and just pray that they would miss everybody's ears on their way in to to take out the guy around in the corner with those those deadly sniper rifles but a plan like this we could set a couple people you know here here and wrap you know, right on the corner looking around to shoot the first wave coming in and then pull them back in as they're continuing through and rounding this corner, you've got a variety of people right in here, plus wrap around the corner to shoot into that one. We could just kind of stage ourselves in and out of this as the enemies move their way through. It isn't an issue with the battle that we've seen so far. You know, four people coming at us, they're all going to be dead before they ever, you know, get halfway through the gauntlet. Twenty-five coming at you, well, that's a different story. So, this will be... Uh, yeah, this is, this is overkill for now, but we'll be thankful for it later. Problem with this, though, is this and this. So we officially have three entrances into our little uh, our little safe haven here. So I mean, officially, that gauntlet system should be right here. But there goes a lot of our best growing soil. Maybe once we get into the mountain base we will tear all of this out open this up for gardening and, a, and a, another gauntlet system here a fallback something so we've got to figure out how to defend from the river access that's a problem they're going to land over here and just you know go along the shallows and work their way in so i'm guessing that the first turrets are going to be here shooting into there and i suppose well, i suppose right up in here kind of giving a, a good shot down into there that might be the way to go. Sandbags. I mean, we could block this up, but you know that's going to be their first target to to attack. We could completely seal it off. You know, three layers of granite wall, and they're just going to ignore it. They're going to treat it like any other uh, mountain side. But it's really convenient to walk out through there. You know, that's. I don't know that I want to throw that away, but we may not have a choice. It may be that we do want to block off all the way. No, we can't build in water. We can't build in water. We have no choice here. I can't block off all but the deep so that it's not accessible. So they're coming through here whether we like it or not. Oh joy. Okay. Um, we could build some kind of a defense system out here and out over here as a first you know, first line of defense, and they'll eventually bust through that. And then, by the time the few that are left make it through, then we can take them out by snipers. But hmm, so that's it. Throws a little different strategic uh, 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 plan in our you know a challenge at us. So there's that to think about. But I did get Klaus to quickly make me one stack of blocks of granite right there, which then allowed structure walls to be to allow them to choose granite walls so now we've got the ability to start doing this so that I, I had to get to that point before I could lay this out I didn't use granite doors I'm using wood granite doors close and open so slow 
that it's just not functional. Of course, the wood ones are not as strong. They're going to, if, if they choose to go through a door, they're going to go right through. Eventually, when we've got the auto doors researched, then maybe we'll replace all these with auto doors or something like that, or at least the ones that we'll be using the most. I can see us probably using this one here to go that way, and this one here to go this way. And occasionally, maybe this group just to go straight up and you know take out the deer. So maybe we'll just auto door selectively in there, long term plan. Then we've got to get the barn in here, probably the best place, and get this area powered up. I did get the a few things I get done before the episode. If I don't and try to do it during the episode, that klaxon's going to go off and we're not going to get anything done again. So I've, I think I'm going to just make a habit of trying to get through all the things we talked about the previous time, but never actually did it. So the alpaca gra grazing area is now over there. So I moved it down into this area. And queued up quite a bit more uh, trees to take out up in here so the enemies can't use this for cover. We may want to disassemble this whole thing so that they aren't able to use this for cover. It hurts us if we want to you know, have a place to fall back. We want to go up here and snipe a siege that's coming in and then fall back to here, then fall back to here. We're going to lose that. But eh, we'll see. Anyway, um, other comments. Um... Quiet Mirth was also asking why dusters, because I made just a quick little comment that I had set up uh, dusters in here for winter. And let's see here, bills, yeah, so dusters. And I did that, um, I've seen Night Ghost using them. I've always thought of dusters as being just for summertime, just to keep you cool. But actually they are set for summer and winter. Uh, Sangria was, was talking about that at one point too. Uh, details, duster, the only way I can get the information on a duster unfortunately is to actually set a bill and go to this point if you go to the bills and click duster and hit the eye over there it gives you an entirely different screen so it gives you just a little bit of information but dusters will insulate you 27 degrees into the cold and 27 degrees into the heat so it will change your how do you how do we explain this Cathra where is that gear yeah your temperature range so she's currently comfortable from 43 to 90. Throw in a duster, it should go up 27 and down 27. So I'll give you a sense of my, at least my take on how that works. Um, if we look at parkas, it, it does keep you much warmer. Parka, right? Uh, see details and there. So instead of 27, it's 72. Um, against the cold, against the heat, it actually, well, I would think that would be a, a major negative more than that. If you're wearing it, I would think you'd, you know, it would really make you uncomfortable. But anyway, this the benefit of the parka is really the, uh, uh, the the cold, being you know insulating you from the cold. And then if you get into the jacket right here, detail, and this one, then it's the same 27 against the cold as the duster but it only works toward the cold not the hot so the duster will shade you from the hot sun but it will hold some heat in which is realistic it should but um uh so that's kind of why dusters we get a double use out of it but also more importantly for our purposes the duster uh jacket turn you off right here duster takes 80 items in order to make one the parkas take 120. So we can kick out, well, what do we got here? Dusters, let's take that down to eight. Eight dusters, a lot faster than we can make eight parkas. So we're already into our second quadrum, they're calling them, right there. So we started probably, what, at the end of April, May? We are, what is our date? 11th of August. So we are halfway through summer. So we have basically fall and a little bit of summer left. We're on the 11th and 15th is the end of the season. So we're running out of time in which to get a little better clothing on us. So we do need to get that going. Um, what are the bills we have here? Uh, we've done both of these. I think we need to add one more. Uh, in fact, let's set this instead until you have one. So we always have one t-shirt in stock and apparently we 
do? Oh, it's sitting right there. So Klaus is probably going to grab that one soon if he hasn't already got one. And then, uh, let's see, do until you have one pair of pants. So later we will up this to maybe three or four or five. But at the moment, if we can just get one in stock, of course that pants is it's counting. Yeah, it's counting this one which we officially have, and it's officially garbage. So let's just, for now, offset that by setting this to two of those. So I want two pants in stock. And then one t-shirt we've got. And that should get clothes on everybody, except for Vort. Vort, you are gear. You've got a jacket on, and that is it. So you are equally... Tell you this planet sure throws the naked enemies at us, the naked cowboys. Anyway, quick uh, glance back at the notes. Um, New Foundation made the comment. I'm going to click this in panic because it makes me feel like the game just crashed every time this happens. That that rescue ship com or uh, message that we got was it last episode or the one before? Maybe the one before, but um, whichever one that was that put the rescue ship clear down at the south pole and i said you know how far away that is i forgot about the uh, the pod launcher so to get down to here i don't know exactly how the pod launcher works and i would imagine to make that kind of a trip we're talking about a tremendous amount of fuel at least that's what seems realistic to me where are we blue Woohoo! there we are right over here next to the cragnose grove so we are what is this region called We've got the <clears throat> Data Mountains here. Don't really have a name for this one. This up here is the Krikrabor Mountains next to the Oga Barrens. So we don't really have a name for the, the region that we're in. Anyway, out of that, back to the notes so I can get the game going. Um, Tomislav asked an interesting question. I wanted Ham to rescue him. When the bugs had taken him down over here. That's probably some Tomasov blood right there, isn't it? Um, there, blood of Tomasov, X or times one. <laughs> Why didn't Ham go rescue him? And he was asking if it could be that Ham only rescues his own master. I've never used rescue and release before. My assumption from long ago has always been that they would rescue somebody of our colony that needed help. So you tell me, does that only work for his master? Or will he go and rescue anybody? And if he does go to rescue anybody, then why didn't he? We had taken him out of his safe, uh, the animal safe zone. He had free reign. And there was quite a few shots let and you know, left to go. So that battle didn't just end you know, 20 seconds later. It went on for a while. Yet he never got the order to do that. So if you know more about how that works, let me know so I know what to do better next time. Um, Sangre was asking that we get all of everybody's passions turned on. Say what? I mean, work, you know, passions right, right there. You know, Cathra really, really wants to be an artist. So I went through and turned on most of them. Um, hunt. I'm not turning on the passions because then it yells every time they don't have a rifle in their hand and the game gets all angry. And I don't want them going off to do that anyway. So, so some characters I've got very specific plans for. And we kind of set that up before we started the game over on, on Patreon. We had a, a, a couple of posts there to, to discuss tactics or how we're going to start the game. And, uh, you know, Thomas Lava is going to be our, our lead doctor and he's going to be researching otherwise. So to have him off doing all these other things which will precede research is not really part of the plan. So we're not going to, you know, cause everyone to get skilled up on everything they have a passion on necessarily. Some of the newer ones they don't have necessarily a, a you know a, a preset plan. That could work. You know, we could do something like that. But I'd rather have a couple of people skilled highly in one or two things than to have people spending all the time of the series just getting everything up a little bit. You know, we need to specialize some, and we need to generalize some. So we're going to have to do some kind of a of a, of a mix of the two in here. Uh, it was suggested we set everybody to clean and even haul to just get it done when it needs to be done. And that's there. there is something to be said about that. Except that if I were to do that with uh, uh, Handy, I'd really have to rework this hard to make her ever get back to construction again because there's always going to be a hauling job 
we'll never get the things built. Same with when we get to mining. And we're going to have to shut down a lot of the other jobs so we can get this thing mined out. This is going to take a long time. So I can't have them mine one and then run out there and go haul something and go back and mine another one. It's just too much time. So we have to find some kind of a balance in between those two extremes to find something that works out for us. Um, it was suggested that you know everyone get in there and get to block cutting. And what I did with that was I went ahead and set up a second block cutting table. And we'll, as much as we can, get to block cutting and then constructing and then everything else that we're doing too. I did do a little micromanaging in between last episode and this one. Everyone I just stopped right where they were and said, you know, Shantigo, bring all the wood over for this one. Tomislav, bring all the wood over for this one and and Sangria, all the wood over to get this done. And so everyone has, has delivered supplies. Handy should be able to, if I just leave her alone, we're at 1400 hours. Everyone's going to want to rest now or socialize. But if I leave her alone now, she should go through and, and just finish all of the construction in the area. So that works out fine. Is there anything else we need to go with? Um, I think that's it. Oh, that's right. There was one more thing I need to check out before we get started. Um, Quiet Mirth had made a comment that certain clothes will grant certain skills. It seems like I saw that once a long time ago and thought that was interesting, but I never really went any further with it. Um, boy, what was it? He would suggested a cowboy hat. Let's see here. Cowboy hat, where are you at? Right there. Let's make a cowboy hat and see if it gives me a hint of what, uh, what he was talking about. All right. Um, there it is. Extra charm. Stylish yet rugged. This hat keeps the sun and rain off and gives it... And it gives anyone who wears it a bit of extra charm. It is the most important part of the traditional Western attire. So to get this onto Klaus will help his social and will help him to charm our our uh, um, our, our inmates, our prisoners. That's the word I'm looking for. So if we were to drop just one of these and just make one, in fact, we could probably kick that. Nope, nope. Try that. You go there. You go there. And there, we get that one pair of pants made, and then a cowboy hat made. Then we get to work on, on these. We don't need the jackets, and right now we don't want the parkas. But he said that there were others that did the same thing. So the only way I can really tell is parka, jacket, hmm. Well, let's check the bowler hat. Boiler, bowler, bowler hat. Well, I couldn't even, I couldn't spit that one out. Um, first of all, he also mentioned there might have been coveralls, but that might be a mod. I don't think we've got coveralls. No. So, other mods have probably taken this concept and added a bunch more, and all of them will have specific uh, bonuses. But let's do check out the bowler hat. Does it give a uh, improved social impact? A good-looking hat, which protects a slightly projects a slightly urban money loving style improves social impact I'm trying to think of the character on firefly that had the bowler hat one of the smugglers yeah okay um hmm we'll pass on that one for now we'll work on these if there are any other bonuses like the cowboy hat let me know and we'll get those in the list, but I don't want to take the time right now to add all these bills and go back and read all of the uh, all the comments or all the, the descriptions at the moment. Let's get this turned on. And so we need warm clothes. We know we're getting into that part of the year. We have the psychic soothe going on. So all the all the male Shantigo uh, needs. We've got a plus eight on everybody. So it's like a calm calming voice at the back of my mind soothing me, settling my nerves. What is the pop-up for low expectations? This place is poverty-stricken. I can't expect any comfort now. I need to keep myself strong. Very comfortable. I've never really read all of these, just accidentally sometimes. I've been very comfortable recently. Ate a fine meal? I ate a really tasty fine meal. Yum. Awful bedroom. My bedroom is an awful place. Ugly environment. This place is unpleasant to be in. And we buffed by handy. I attempted to create a romance, but I got the cold shoulder. Feels bad, man. <laughs> I have never spent time looking at those. Were those in eight in, in uh, thirteen? 
Or was that, uh, uh, is that, or, you know, just the beginning of it in 18? Were they, were they the same, or have they been reworked since then? Tons of joy of Handy. I've been enjoying myself so much, I love it. Ate a fine meal. Sienna's master. Being together with my bonded animal makes me feel better. Comfortable, feeling good. Let's see. For no apparent reason, I just feel good right now. Awful bedroom and ugly environment. So who's got another negative that's that's significant? Dull barracks. Um, living in a dull... All of a sudden, just disappear a dull barrack with other people. Okay, so if there's two beds in here, it's considered a barrack. Unfortunately, they'll all get their own individual rooms soon. But it's not going to happen yet. Um, cold? No. Oh, in here for a while. And in here long enough, cold will pop in. Very cold. So, I'm so cold, shivering, can't get warm, but that's just temporary. You'll, you'll be done in a moment. So everybody's set to clean, they're just plowing through. Except I didn't set Handy for clean. I didn't set Tomislav for clean, because I would overwrite him. And, and construction is only a two for Handy, so she can be sure to get to this one and, and crafting... Hmm, that's stone cutting. Yeah, I'm gonna have to take that down. On, no, not, not you. Where's Handy? I already did take it. Did take it down, Handy. Okay, so she's gonna hit tailoring because she's the best seamstress, <clears throat> and then we'll send her over to construction next, and then plant cut with everybody else. If there's nothing, if we run out of wood and can't build anything, Bill complete made a cowboy hat. Really? What happened to the pants? Bill. Pants? For some reason, she chose to skip pants. Well, that's interesting. They have a mind of their own in this version. But, um, okay, so what do we need to be doing? So, this one. I need to get handy back on this one. And she's going to intentionally... In fact, I kind of wish I just had you drop that. But, oh, you get a table over here. Good. Glad you do. And Klaus... You are here, because if I had... Hello. And we'll see what just happened there. Anyway, Klaus, go wear that one. And while I'm thinking about it, assign Sir uh, Kathra. We're going to clear forest. And you can drop that shirt if you want, but since it qualifies for anything, you'll pick it up anyway. So forcing them means we're assigning it to them, but we can clear that and it'll be of their own willpower. What's going on over here? Rabbit. Socially. Uh, attempted to woo Handy into a romance, and this time Handy rejected his advance, too. Uh, how's... how are they doing? They're still pretty good shape, though. Rabbit really likes Handy. Handy kind of likes him, too. Good. Sangria does as well. All right. So... Where are we? 1800, so 6 p.m. And I'm here in Sizzling. So, Shantigo, let's drop that and haul this let's see consume fine meal haul these and i suppose it's time to go ahead and get a stool built in each of these spaces just to make this work a little better i don't though i don't know if they'll drop the i don't think they'll drop the meals there if the stool's in its place i think that's kind of one of the the reasons for that let's try it stool right there you go there you go there all right so you're going to haul that away just enough to haul this one. Is that the most meat? That's the most meat. Alright, that's going to drop into there. You're going to start cooking again. And tell you what. Go ahead and haul this one as well. That'll give you something like 35 and 35. You know, that'll be uh, another three meals without having to make this run all the time. Okay. Poor quality, but 100 out of 100 hit points. So there's the story of the t-shirt. All right, what are we doing? We are doing a massive cleanup of the whole property. Handy is out here cleaning too, and that's what I didn't want to happen. Work. Yeah, I should not have set... No, that's Klaus. I'm used to Handy being the top. Where are you? You're right there. Okay. You go back to construction, and specifically, you go back to building this one. Let's get that one built. We can get two random people in here to uh, to get this done. How are we over here? Let's look at that again. Orders. Klaus, your first one is Warden, and then you are let's see 
got a one. Okay, I'm going to take you down there. You're going to work on... Interesting. Crafting is only a four. You have been sitting there working away at this, like you're trapped in a room, Catherine style. When she wants them to do something, like clean, she puts them in there and she locks the door. <laughs> they have no choice. <laughs> Got to check out her, her series. It's fun. Um, hmm. So you have been working at this nonstop for all these blocks. Klaus. Warden. Apparently you didn't get the command. <clears throat> but you didn't cook which case we do have animals to be butchered you didn't oops you didn't mine there's all kinds of mining queued up you didn't plant cut there's lots of trees why are you stuck right here i don't understand that that is really odd proximity must really play a, a heavy role now in what they choose to do so there's all kinds of stones to keep them busy here that's for sure but it is not a high priority on your list why did you remain there? Let's see, I want to see what happens when he finishes this. Okay, you are... You're going to continue. That's really odd. I'm not going to bug you. I want those done. But that is really odd. Alright, so we are sealed in over here. <clears throat> and getting this built. Don't need light in there. Now... I was thinking I was going to hold off on Cathra doing using her art skill until we had a more of a, a production area in here. Got a lot of things to get done before we start building art. The art does give a bonus. You know, you put the art in their rooms, and there's a beauty factor, and it gives them a bonus to their beauty rating while they're sleeping, which is really important. Eight hours in a really nice environment will bring this up considerably more than just simply where they're going to get out of their rest and you know, hopefully they're comfort if they got a good bed which we do need to take another look at these beds and get a few more built and uh, roll the dice and get a couple of better than just you know good ones but Vort, you, Health, Peg Leg, Shattered Rib, Bite Scar, Scratch Scar whoever, whoever gets Vort is going to be uh, in pain and well that's actually negative 5 for all those scars that's not that bad Okay. Um, otherwise, you've got food. Your mood is decent. Um, yeah, not doing that bad. Though, Klaus, is probably time for you to chat Vort up a bit. You haven't been, you haven't left that bench since. Like, there's, there's definitely something odd going on here. I wonder if it's because Sienna keeps dropping blocks in that spot right there, and he can't get through. I don't know. <laughs> Rest of you've gone to bed. Um, yeah, as long as Vort's still awake, go ahead and see what you can do over there. Now, what next? Hmm. Need to probably micromanage a bunch of hauling. This stuff's been sitting out here for a long time. It's getting rough already. Darn. In our Alpha 13 series, we found that the lower quality ones, after they hit a certain point, you know, it seemed like it was after it was uh, you know, 50 out of 100. Or, are they all out of 60s for food now? I thought there were 100s back then. Yeah, 60 must be food. Um, anyways, about the halfway point, and the cook didn't want to cook with them anymore. I think back then it was Natalia. So, Klaus, you are insisting on... Okay, um... Guys, explain that to me. <clears throat> what am I missing here? Klaus, crafting. Crafting is stone cutting. Four. Why is this happening? Do I need to go look to see if RimWorld has updated something? You know, I'm not running the game on Steam, so I'm not getting auto-updates <clears throat> like some of you guys are. I'm running a, a standalone version of the game, so I don't have to deal with the game updating on me and breaking my save. But I wonder if this is actually a problem because this is really odd. I didn't. I, that shouldn't be happening. Anyway, you are on your way to get a meal, and then probably off to bed. We need to get this one built so we make this a room, which means these guys will no longer be outside. That's that will increase the production in here. Well, I don't know what I was going to say. I wasn't going to have Cathra concentrate on art yet, but. I could throw an art table in here. 
and just see what comes of it. It might be nice when we finally do get trading going to have something of significant value to sell. Speaking of, we also need to think about the crafting spot, just because it can give us some basic things for the tribals to buy from us. You know, I, I would imagine that that to handy could pop these up pretty quick. Amount of work nine, yeah. So, stone, wood. Is there anything here I'm willing to get rid of? We could go with steel. And leave it at that. And allow crafting skill and ingredient radius. Take you down to Theris. And let's go ahead and just pop in here a quick uh, 10. So do... Yeah, just do 10 times. And anybody with craft will do that. Which means Klaus will be over there on his number four on craft, right? That's really weird. Um, so do that, but we could also drop in production art. Tell me we can do that. Is that something to research? Let's look at this more carefully. Sculptor's table. Ah, it's not called art. All right, so we could do something like like that and drop a light into here and just see what comes out of this yeah, experiment with it whether even if we don't end up using it long term until we're into the base at least we get a chance to see how it works and see if she comes up with something that's got an uh, interesting uh, uh, art scene sculpted into it like this this chair here uh, art which uh, <laughs> Um, Michael keeps ending all of his comments under the episodes with this work has an amateurish yet attractive feel and a square structure. So it's kind of becoming the slogan of the, uh, of the, of the colony. That was, that was pretty funny. Handy, you are going to quickly pump out a t-shirt, right? No, pigskin pants. That's what it was. Okay. Pigskin pants are being made. Kathra is going to get a meal. Sangria is going to do some cleaning. And I was going to have somebody refuel this. So, Sangria, you get that duty. Who else is up? Needs to be pestered. Vort's over there doing fine. That is it at the moment. Oh, Tomislav's up. What were you up to? You were researching, but first you're going to bring in a bunch of berries. Mm hmm. Now, berries come in pretty good quantities, too. Yeah, there's there's a good maybe three trips of hauling in there. The sangria, you are actually, you know what? Just do this. Haul wood. It'll bring seventy-five in instead of just the what's needed for the stove. You'll drop it off at the stove and whether you're the one that refuels it or not, it'll be down here and ready to use. That's important. So Kathra is making a club. Great. That works great. Let her do that. Um Shantigo, I don't want to disturb you. You'll you'll get all cranky if I do. Uh, Rabbit's up. He is consuming a fine meal. Handy is as well. Kathra is dropping off the club over here at the new wooden shelves storage, which automatically is set for weapons. Interesting. It does work that way. Okay. Then let's automatically set this one for um, important... And let's do all of the medicines. That is where. Manufactured. Actually, let's turn this off first. And apparel. It's also set for apparel, huh? Allow non-dead man's apparel. I hadn't noticed that before. Did that have anything to do with the pants up there in the... Uh, um, in this? Now, we didn't have any dead men's, but if that was not checked, hmm, I don't know, that was really odd, this is odd as Klaus insisting on, on cutting blocks, but um, what was I doing, over here, this one, let's set for manufactured medicine, specifically Glitter World, and... If I were to do herbal, that should be one per bay. We're going to see Cathra dropping this off in one of those slots. In that slot. Waking up Klaus. Hmm. What do we want to put 
in their individual shelves. I can set them for very specific items if we choose to. So think about that. For now, there's, there's going to be all weapons. And I kind of like the weapons out in the main hallway. But, hmm. I don't know. Let me know what you think about that. Anyway, I'm going to set both of these here. I'm going to um, basically just throw away this, this uh, zone right there. And this one as well. There we go. And these should get picked up and brought over into here. This is our makeshift hospital kind of thing right now. Anyway, what next? There's no emergencies going on, so now I'm left going, what do I do? I don't know what to do. <laughs> I do need to get this food brought in, though. So as they don't have critical things to do, you're taming a wild boar. I did set one wild boar just to see how this works. This is see if it's possible. Wildness on a wild boar is... Um, what am I looking for? Wild boar information. That's what I'm looking for. 50%. That seems plausible. Um, Sangria, though, what have you got for a weapon? You've got a, you know, a pretty powerful gun, and we've, we've seen you use it. I'm hesitant to have her tame something like this. But in the comments, she keeps saying, Let me tame them! Let me tame them! So... We're going to let you tame them and see what happens. I'd send you after squirrels, but you know, they're, they're probably more dangerous than the wild boar. Let's see what happens here. Let's see if this was a huge mistake. It's only a 1.3% chance of the boar revolting if she does it wrong. But boars are able to haul. That would be nice to uh, get more than just the uh, the dogs trained up to do all the hauling. We can get them doing hauling, and we can uh, concentrate on other things. Tame failed, 8% chance. Okay. Lots of blood over here. A lot of hunting over here. That's what that is. All right. So, who can haul? Um, Sangra, you can on your way in. Consuming berries. Now, why don't you haul them first? Uh, haul these guys in. Then you can, if you still insist on consuming them, you can do it at a table. Rabbit, you are cleaning the garden. Can you please haul these in instead? And how much room do we have? We're not going to have a lot of room. Let's set you... Let's see. P does the haul command, so we do that. Handy, you grabbing the, the supplies that are already over there. Great. Going to do that one and that one. And that needs what? A whole bunch more. All right. Get that built. And Kathra is busy doing that. Rabbit, when you're done, you are cleaning dirt. Why don't you come up and bring some more wood in? Right there. Who else can do that? Sangri, you're bringing that in. Handy, you are uh, hauling steel to standing lamp. Okay, you're going to get that the lamp going by that table. Kathra, you are making another club. Um, at some point, we're going to have to, say, start leaving the clubs over there. What are you making these out of, by the way? What have we actually got here? Steel club. I don't get the sense that there is a... Interesting, there isn't. Um, you know, shoddy or, or good or normal on steel clubs. You're making a lot of steel clubs. You really are. What's the value on these things? Value 77. Whoa. Of course, 77 in a perfect world, it'll be a percentage of that. Before you do, though, can you bring these two herbal medicines in? Those are bugging me. I'm going to get those in. This one's been out here for so long, it's probably... No, that's not the same one. Okay, good. Well, there's that. Rabbit, you are hauling wood. Handy, you're doing that. Sangra, you're dropping that off, and you're probably going to grab something to eat. Uh, consuming a fine meal. Okay. So you chose that over the berries. So that must be a better boost for you. Shantigo, you are cooking a fine meal the hard way again. Let's have you bring in all of this meat. No consume it. Okay. I'm going to have to have you haul this out manually. So, uh, that one. Otherwise, handy. You are hauling wood to Sculptor's Table. Hauling 12. Oh, you're going to go grab another stack yourself. All right. I was hoping someone else would do that. Is there anything else I can get you working on besides that? So while Rabbit brings the wood down here and shortens the path. Uh, can you work on this one? Nope, you need wood for that too. Hmm... There's no more mining out over here. Um, there's no repairing to do. I guess just let you go. Okay. Uh, what was I... Oh, I was working with Shantigo. You... Hmm. 
How are these doing? They're still showing 50 out of 50. Okay, here's another question for those of you who spent far more time in here than I have. You know, I've, again, I haven't played a lot in the last uh, six months or so. He keeps dropping these onto here. And does the pile take the qualities of the last one arrived? Or does it take a an average of the whole? These should have started to rot. Yeah, we're still at 50 out of 50. Is because a 50 out of 50 just got set there prior to him coming in this time. In which case, you know, it's going to do Vort some good, you know. Hmm. I have to think about all that, how that works. I'm worried about leaving him over here, but they don't seem to be spoiling. As long as we keep this active. Okay, now, before we go any further, I need you to haul these. That's where we... We short, uh, shorted the process there. You're going to haul those in. And then we're going to haul... What are you doing? You are hauling a fine meal to stockpile three. Hauling a fine meal. Oh, you dropped some off there and you're going to put the rest right there. Um, you can drop it right there. I need you instead to bring in all of this. And here's where once we get all the dogs and the puppies eventually and the wild boars all of them trained for hauling so you're going to see on it right there we won't have to worry about restocking these two stockpiles to get the right kind of food sitting in here uh trained for haul Ooh, ham is no six out of seven right there trained for haul um and so the dogs and the, you know the animals will keep these things stocked for us and when shanti will just be able to keep working so we'll have service animals in the kitchen uh-huh. That's how you got to look at it. <laughs> anyway, Shantigo, you are cooking a fine meal. I need you to haul what is in this spot. It is empty. Grab me a 75 of potatoes, please. Right there. Put that stack in there, that stack in there, and now you'll be able to just keep working away at this. And potatoes matches what's out here. Now, because you're going to have to put them all back in there over again. And you did. Okay. Oh, that's done. Sangria is cleaning. So let's get you to bring in the last of the berries. Last? Uh, 25, I mean, yeah, 45, 65. Well, we got two more runs out of there. So who else can do that to get these in for good? Uh, and I'm tempted to shut down the steel club. Yeah, I'm tempted to shut down the steel. How fast are we going to run through all this? You know, I think I will. Well, that value, though. Hmm value. Alright, we'll keep that going for a while, yep. They'll sell well, is what I'm thinking. Anyway, Cathra, so you're busy making club, and... Oh, you dropped another one off. Boy, you're quick. Uh, Klaus, you are making kibble out of the good stuff. Alright, let's set kibble just for bugs for a while. Kibble, and details, and raw foods, and we're gonna say no meat except insect right there okay klaus let's reset you to that and you'll go grab those and shantigo i'm gonna bug you while you're kind of right in, in between meals can you go put this away for me <clears throat> all right so what's klaus been up to where's a klaus right there he's got his cowboy hat on that's right I just saw him. <laughs> I just had it in my mind. I want to make sure he wasn't doing the uh, the block cutting at the moment. I need to make sure he actually talks to Vort once in a while. So, social with Vort, we're at 60. Okay. That helps. Um, doing okay. Rest is going to help. Comfortable? Let's see. What kind of bed is this? This is a normal bed, so it's probably a neutral on comfort is what I'm going to guess. We haven't talked about this yet. For those of you who are new to the game, um, it'll be Klaus that does the social, but I'll have a right click or I'll click on him and right click here, and we can talk to our five factions over here. And we could actually oh okay, pause. Didn't really mean to do that. I was hoping it would just show me. But he's only got okay, Thomas Hobbs only got a social skill of two, so it's suggesting by saying that this is not gonna go well. But we could offer a gift of 300 silver, which will give us a boost in our uh, popularity with them. We could request a, request a trade caravan. It's going to cost us a lot of money and need a caravan. So that caravan should come from one of the 
the factions here on the planet. Need 1100 silver near the trade beacon in order to do it. They'll come on their own. We don't have to do that. Um, it's kind of like um, in Ostrov. You can pay the money to send your, your messenger out to those three towns, or you can just be patient, and they'll all come to you eventually. Um, here's our status with the Irwatna People's Federation. Uh, we're a plus 12 with them, so we're neutral. And eventually, if you get to where you're a plus, I don't know what the number is, above 50, maybe even above 80, then you can request their help when you're being attacked by doing this. So there's other options that are going to happen here once uh, once we get this whole thing fully operational. Andy's about to get the art bench going in. Then I'm going to have to start sending them all off to, uh, to get to work on other things, specifically that wall. But let's play with this a little bit. Add Bill. We can make a small, large, or grand sculpture. What is... Kathra's skill level right now in art. Artistic, six, and a major passion for it. So if we were to start off on the smaller ones until she got a little better, the smaller ones would train her up. Small sculpture due until we have two. Details, what do we want to make it out of? Oh, interesting. It's taken what I set the clubs to and, and you know sending it out throughout all the production tables. That's good and bad. If I were to change this, does it change over there, or is it, or is whatever I change it to going to be the what the next production table is set for automatically? Don't know. I'll take you down like so. Um, let's make this specifically six or more for now. I don't want everybody stopping by who thinks they're they're an aspiring artist right now. We got too many things going on. We'll 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 cater this just for Catherine at the moment and this is what we have the most commonly blocks and and steel and wood now it seems like at least what i remember from long ago the marble blocks would be the most value as far as making things out of blocks let's do just that until you guys correct me and i think that'll work we're just going to make two things for now and it may not even happen anytime soon because work Kathra, Art. We do have Art as her first one, though. So she'll make this two, and then she'll get back to crafting clubs until those are done. Then she'll get back to cleaning, and then once everything's clean, she'll get back to whatever. You know, it's, again, this this whole thing is a work in progress, and it'll, it'll, it will change throughout the entire series based on what our needs are at the moment. Sangria is cleaning dirt after you bring in these berries, and... I see that one rice is gone, so I'm thinking a rabbit helped us there. Speaking of rabbit, we have some planting to do. Where are you right now? You are probably cleaning. Yeah, that's... I just... The, the, yeah, I, I'm i going back to twos. We find, you know... Yeah, but they make dirt every time they walk around. They're always breaking off to do cleaning jobs. And they do a lot of walking to get that cleaning, then they go off and do other things. Let it get dirty a little bit, then set a wave of ones, and they'll stand in one spot and clean several from that same spot. It's so much more efficient, as long as you remember to do it or you have the time to do it. But no, I'm not going to set everybody to clean all the time. That's it, In concept, yes, I understand it, but there's a in reality, it doesn't work as well as, as one would hope. Anyway, um, good. Rabbit's doing what's important. I need another wave of this done before we run out of summer. And... What else right now? Let's say we're done enough with this crafting spot. Let's take you down to... We're done. Okay, that's done. And actually, I'm going to shut this one down for the moment, too. All right. Let's spend some time even taking Tomasov off of there. Let's do that. I need to micromanage a bunch of people toward getting blocks made and toward getting this wall built. In fact, I kind of wish now that I had built this other craft table right up here. Even if it's just for this one project and call it done. I can see some benefit in that. Uh, Klaus is busy making kibble. Are we really that low? We've got 50 over here. Okay. Yeah, we'll get that one done. Kathra, you are now playing horseshoes. Okay, I'll leave you alone. And Sienna, what are you doing? Candy, you are relaxing socially. 1,500. You are... 
done with that. I need you to begin the process of building this wall over here. That's not a handy. Where are you? Right there. You start working on this one. And whom else? Rabbit, you were playing horseshoes too. Rabbit needs joy. You're you're fine. Come on up here and get this section done. And just get the supplies brought over. Is that the end of our supplies? It is. Okay. Kathra needs... You're a little bit lower. I'm going to leave you alone. Sangria, you too. Who else is around here? Thomas Slob. Your mood is incredible because you really like researching. That is your thing. I need you to... Do you have any sense of speed with crafting? You don't. Yes, anyone can craft and it is an entry level crafting uh, job to train up their crafting but if they already know how to do it they go so much faster um that being said what else is there for Tomislav to do that isn't just researching he can grow though i like six or more on growing all right we'll set you to crafting for now we'll do something like Probably take you down to a two, and that'd be fine. Thomas Hobb, if I set you specifically, why didn't that work? Or did I just do that wrong? Okay, where'd you go? There, you're already selected. And right there. Okay, do that one. And who else can I send directly into the Shantico? What are you up to? <laughs> you are cloud watching. But your mood is in great shape, and your joy is in great shape. So how about you... Uh, Shantigo, we've got we actually have a lot of meals now. We're getting close to uh, triggering this uh, this this off button here. So in that case, in fact, how many do we have? Are we that close? We're 35 and 18. 20 is the off for, for those. Let's just send you over here. Although Klaus, where, what's your skill level for that? Crafting for nothing. Okay, Shantigo, your skill level for crafting is a little better. All right, I'm going to send you over to here. Now, that's what happened last time, and it felt like something went wrong. No, I did the wrong one. He's This one's already signed. But it didn't give me a pop-up that said it's already signed. You can't do that. That's interesting. Anyway, there's two of you to start making blocks. Two of you brought blocks up to start laying them out. And there we go. And we'll start getting, hopefully, the outer wall done first. Though I can't really specifically say which, uh, uh, thank you, Handy. <laughs> you want to go make a shirt or something, don't you? What are you doing? You're making a duster, yeah. So we're going to have to really fight that one for a while, aren't we? It's starting to rain. It's starting to rain. Ooh. Curious. What is the wildness in these guys? 75. And if we were to train one, what happens? Um, actually, if I just do this. Tame. May attack. Only 0.3% chance. So not likely. Okay. There is a chem fuel we can get out of these. I've never dealt with that before. I'm assuming it's... You know, we can milk them for it somehow. So it must be something that gets stored in the refrigerator sounds like it to me, but I'm not sure. I would say we could go ahead and try to tame one or two of these. I want to tame all the boomalopes that I find, just for a bug deterrent, but I don't... Uh, uh, there aren't any on the map. We could, I guess, tame some of these as well for that purpose, until some come onto the map. We could do that. But normally when it rains, I go out and go uh, boom rat hunting. Just because you can't light the place on fire. And boom rats make uh, leather for you to for you to uh, sew from, and they make meat. So, and if you get too many on the map, one of the of the disasters that hits is all of the blank on the map has gone berserk and are now manhunting you. If that something turns out to be boom wraps and i've had that happen before i tell you it gets really exciting really fast <laughs> imagine let's do this there's five that's not that many over here okay so we're not talking that many right now still quite a few but imagine 
it seems like when that happened, on, it was a map I was playing just for myself for fun. Probably Alpha 12 at that point. And I think there were something like 30 to 40 boom rats on the map. And all of them triggered. And you could see all these little dots moving in from every part of the map coming at me. <laughs> I At that point, I had a different kind of kill zone. I had a circular wall with one entrance. And then another circular wall over here with alcoves built into it all the way around and turrets in every one of those alcoves all concentrating on that door kind of a parabolic uh, shape and all just tuned right to hit that point right there where they enter and that whole area was ju just exploded from all of the boom rats dying and exploding and taking out the walls and some of them getting through and getting in there and they're chasing us all around inside the the colony and we're trying to shoot them and run and shoot each other and run and, oh that was that was some excitement i'd rather not have on this series <laughs> so if you could take some boom rats out um during the rain which i'm seeing it raining right there and we've got a rainy thunderstorm Ooh. This could get exciting. And where am I? I'm at 57 minutes. We have to end this here real quick. But just out of curiosity, um, who can I get to go up there and pop something? Why am I not seeing Klaus right now? Where are you at? Klaus. Right there, you are relaxing socially. Because, yeah, you really could use a little bit of it, too. Hmm. Rabbit, where are you? You're up here already. Okay, we'll use you. You've got an assault rifle. Ooh, flash. Ah, thunderstorm's building. Anyway, let's find that boom rat that I had triggered. Was it you? You are set to... to tame. Hmm. Okay, we'll sit. Oh no, you're further away. You need to be hunted. Okay. Rabbit, don't get away. Hunt up over here. Can you... Right there. Let's hunt this guy. I'll probably finish it with this, but... If you've got headphones on right now... Be aware, there's going to be a loud clap of thunder at any moment. It's going to make you need to change your underwear. Boom. So boom rats, you don't want them to go uh, boom inside your base. Okay, I was kind of hoping to be a little more dramatic than that. Okay, run up there. <laughs> they hunt really well when you're not looking. But when you want to, you know, to show you something. There it is. Okay. He's going to bring in Mr. Boom Rat there. But, um, yeah. So a bunch of these guys inside your base when something goes wrong is not a good thing. So just kind of keep that in mind. I usually hunt them down, but now there's actually a use for them. What is the... Where... Who... Klaus. I set one over here, didn't I? Right there. That should be the last one that uh, that has been set. Now, he's behind a tree, so it's going to be forever. Oh, there we go. There you are. There, got both on the screen. There, that one's done. So with that, I think we could probably shut this down. That thunderstorm is not over the top of us. So we're getting flashes and we're getting thunder off in the distance. When it's over the top of you, it's just like a real thunderstorm. I spent uh, some time living out in the Midwest, and oh man. Every time there's a thunderstorm, it's like someone's in the living room with you firing off a double-barrel shotgun. It is incredible. So that's what this can get like, especially if your speakers are turned up. But I think, let me glance down at my notes. Am I kind of done? I think so. Maybe lots of comments about... Uh, what I did wrong. <laughs> and I'll catch you next time, folks. Bye-bye.